to my uh, van build. Today I'm starting to fit my five stage reverse osmosis water filtration system. Quite an interesting piece of kit. Uh, we want to be able to go off grid for long periods of time and getting clean water can always be a problem. So I purchased this five stage reverse osmosis filtration kit from Amazon. It, um, let me see if I can show you. It comes from Finer Filters. Um, and there are several models available. Unfortunately, I went for this one. Um, I don't know why I went for that one. I've been planning on doing this for five years, and I think I put it on my Amazon wish list. And when I came to buy it, I think I clicked on it without even thinking any further. Because this one has a pump. It's a 24 volt pump, but it comes with a mains power supply. So that requires a mains supply. And I'm not going to be using a mains supply. So I've read the instructions, and you can buy this model. Um, as either a pumped version or an unpumped version. When I originally did the research on this, I decided I needed a minimum of three bar to get this working. So when I purchased my water pump, my main water pump, I purchased this shore flow water pump, which is a 45 PSI or 3.1 bar pump. And I thought, Ah, well, that would be good. I didn't realise that I clicked on this one that had a built-in pump. Hmm. I think I can bypass it. I don't think it's needed, because the only difference between this model and the previous model is this one is the pumped version. And I think what I can just do is... What I'm going to try and do is use it without this pump being activated and see whether it works. If it doesn't, then I'm going to um, just join these two together, remove the pump and the power supply, and just go with the unpumped version by connecting essentially um, this gland to this gland and bypassing the pump and taking that out. It's a shame that it's a 24 volt pump because, um, well, I run on a 12 volt supply and I don't particularly want to have it connected to the mains. comes with all the fitting kits, the reverse osmosis filters and the various particulate filters and a pressurised storage tank. This is actually quite light, it's not very heavy. Um, it's a bit like these Fiamma expansion tanks that you can buy. So, we'll see how I get on. Okay, so I've um, studied this reverse osmosis filtration system in some detail. It does seem that I uh, ordered the wrong one, and I ordered this one here with the pump. Although mine doesn't have this remineralization cartridge um, on it, but this is definitely the one I've got. It comes with everything you need, although strangely, the pressurised water container for the pressurised uh, drinking water, pure drinking water, does not have any kind of uh, bracket or fixing system. I don't know whether they expect it to float in mid-air using some kind of anti-gravity unit or something, but I'm going to have to figure out a way of, um, of fixing that to stop it moving around. Maybe a, a strap or something like that. The rest of the unit is fairly straightforward. Um, your output for your taps, your uh, input for your, your water from your tank via your normal pump, drain hoses, etc. This folds down as well, so it can be a little bit more compact. As for the pump, I'm going to put it in as it is and see whether the pump that I bought for my main system will feed it without this switching on.
it's got a pressure switch on it to switch the pump on you can see it just here I might not need it and we're using a small inverter a little 300 watt inverter to run our washing machine we've got one of those little plastic washing machines which I'm going to install we've been using it in our other van for years and it's a wonderful piece of kit the whole thing only comes to about 11 kilos it's not bad it comes with all the fittings you need in fact it comes with some that I'm not going to need this is a bracket for a tap of course I've got the tap already installed just there so I'm not going to be needing that it comes with a connection to a standard 15 millimeter water pipe with a little on off tap I'm not going to need that and that's to turn off your mains water and I'm not going to need that either so those are superfluous to requirements it's a three stage filter uh, here the main filters particulate filter um, carbon filter membrane filter and then you've got this one here which goes in to this container which is your reverse osmosis membrane system my water system is going here that's the back of the van that's the uh, left hand wheel arch that's all going to be boxed in with some insulation I've got my water pipes coming through the floor that go to my trumer my shower toilet etc the water tank is going to be mounted here internal water tank I'm putting my um, pressure vessel just there I'm putting my main pump just there then we'll have that big fresh water tank this one we'll have that just there then we'll have the five stage reverse osmosis system just there on the wall the rest of the space is going to be left for a, a hose reel for um, normal connecting up to on-site water supplies and I'm thinking of putting a homemade filtration system in just there to gather rainwater from the roof of the van I'm still deciding on that yet I haven't really decided we'll see we'll see how it goes just here is where the little washing machine lives on the slide out tray here we have our normal pump and um, fire and pressure vessel that I'm going to be mounting over there on the wall okay I'll get on with it it's going to take me a few days okay so this is the um, water filtration system as it's uh, now been installed the large freshwater pressurized tank there I made up a bracket for it that holds it in place the whole thing um, is mounted on top of the wheel arch which is behind those um, sheets of insulation there I've boxed in the wheel arch for that the water pump and the water pump expansion tank are installed as are the majority of the fittings and they've all been plumbed into the kitchen taps and the pipes that come under the floor to feed the trumer the little white pipes that linked together the fresh water reverse osmosis system are really easy to install the little connectors are really easy you just uh, take off the little blue end push in the pipe close the little blue end and it's all done the only disadvantage with the system I can see is that this is a little bit flexible and I think what I'm going to have to do is put in a little extra bracket just to stop it vibrating like that when I drive otherwise it's going to weaken the metal of course I can't test it yet because I'm still waiting for our water tank to arrive the water tank is going just here it's uh, an 85 litre water tank it's going to fit in this position with the drain just here and connection to the water pump I ordered this tank weeks ago and it's still not arrived leisure shops direct um, 
I wish they'd get their self in gear. I suppose with the coronavirus crisis, we can't um, we can't be too impatient. Here, I've got our washing machine, which we're actually using at the moment. This washing machine is built into a tray, which has been lined with sunny clad and sealed with Sikaflex to keep it nice and waterproof. Hinges are in that side long hinge here waiting to be put on then the whole tray will slide out the back of the van um, so that you can use the washing machine it only takes about uh, 150 watts so we're running it off a small inverter I can't put the hinges on yet until I've built the wall that goes along here and of course I can't do that until I've got the tank and can do all the tank fittings it's really quite annoying having to wait for things to be delivered. Over here I've got a couple of um, pipes coming from the fresh water system one hot one cold. The long one there is going to be for a high pressure inlet which is going to be under the van so I can plug in using a pipe to an outside tap to pressurize my system should we be on site. Two taps on the fresh water system there, which I'm going to connect to flexible hoses so that we can fill the washing machine with water, um, both hot and cold. As you can see here, from the output of the expansion tank, I've put in a one-way valve. This one-way valve will allow water to flow through the system as powered by the pump. But, when I've got the high pressure external supply running, that will pressurise my water system without it having to go through the pump. The one way valve is there to stop that mains water pressure going back into this system. This is the feed to my five stage osmosis reverse osmosis system. I've taken it off here with a 12mm uh, to 6mm adapter that then goes to the 5 stage reverse osmosis system. The filtered fresh water that's gone through the reverse osmosis filtration system comes out of this little tap here um, fixed next to the sink. That's for the fresh water. It goes by one of those little white pipes all the way through to the storage tank. We've also got this. For my water level gauge I've chosen this 190 ohm sliding float sensor system. It goes into the top of the tank and a little float goes up and down. It sends a signal to a meter on my control panel. I've chosen this rather than the uh, more normal motorhome water level sensors because I'm quite used to using them. I use them on my yacht and um, it gives a more accurate and linear reading of the water level than the normal motorhome ones. That then goes to the control panel to this cuss water gauge. Plugs in on the control panel and gives me a more linear reading of the water level. Now this was about £25 in itself and the sensor was about the same price so £50 is quite a lot of money but it will give me a better reading. <laughs>